Taylor, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it? A warning. Just in case, man, probably nothing's going to happen in this video, but, you know, it's, it's good to have it than not have it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Twitch.com is where you can catch a live. If we do go live, username's on the bottom of the screen. Patreon, we post seven to ten times a week. Link's down in the description, man. This is Wendell. Is this England's worst town? We're going to figure it out, man. We will figure it out. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Luton! Ladies now, and gentlemen, welcome. Luton's, Luton's, I've seen worse. Welcome to Luton. Now, Luton's well, had some bad press of recent times. In a poll on the ilivehere.co.uk website, it was voted as the worst place to live in England in 2023. Now, one comment that really caught my attention. Luton? I feel like we've seen worse. When I read that poll, one of the voters commented that Luton, and this is a quote, makes Slough comparable to the tax exile haven of Monaco. Well, I've been to Slough recently this year, and Slough was a pretty bleak place. So I've come over to Luton to see if it really is as bad as the people in that poll say so. I don't think it is. I've seen several, like several little walkthroughs and documents. I don't think it is. Let's check it out. I've never seen it to be this. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> When I came here in 2013, it was very difficult for me. About my car, about, about my dreadlock, about everything. Where did you come from in 2013? Mozambique. 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 And uh, what brought you to Luton in 2013? I, I came to see you. I was waiting for you. For me? Exactly. Okay, then we After were meant to meet. Years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you said it was difficult for you to start with when you first yeah, got here? Yeah, it's difficult because people did, did, did different philosophy, different manners to see. But you've been here 12 years, so something must have kept you here. There must be things about living in Luton you like. No, now I build this place, it's my place now, no? About 85% is mine. Yeah. There is 15%, there is some idiots come sometime, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's everywhere in the world. In the HL, There's probably yeah. higher percentages what? of idiots yeah. in other places, yeah. yeah. What's your name? My name, Wendell. Wendell. Nice to meet you. My name's Salvis. So, so Luton's got a bit of a bad reputation in terms well, of... drugs and alcohol Everything. And, um, um, I, but last year it was voted one of the worst places to live in the UK and quite a divided place, but I'm here to find out. I'm here to find well, out. they say it's Little L London. Yeah, well, it's only 30 miles north, so... I can see how I can say that, yeah. Ma'am, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I like your shirt. I was a little worried because how like raspy whatever was going on, but that shirt is the savior of the day. <laughs> last last three or four days they killed three three person, maybe really? much much farming, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In what, what you mean, in what way? What what was the situation? Uh, situation much farming, no? Yeah, yeah. Is his fingers just short or? Yeah. In what, what you mean, in what way? What, what was the situation? Ah, situation. No, so Maybe for me only about all drugs or girls. That's it. Okay. Really? Yeah. No, Mine nothing was else. outside my sister's house. Really? She's taking the delivery from Tesco and she sees shot, shot. Check out this game I've been playing in my spare time. You can play it on your mobile or on your computer. You stand systems and power people out. The description my link or Dimitar of Hack download to download to Wendell and she sees shot shot really so if it's gone crying so yeah. she come to stay me six days yeah yeah sad oh so she oh she just seen it it didn't happen to her okay yeah but not only Luton many places Birmingham yeah, yeah. Manchester everywhere yeah. this crime you know no here yeah yeah but for me no problem yeah 
sometimes come uh, some idiots here yeah, try to young boys like 20 uh, like 30 they want to be like me yeah. everything there is step you know look my head look everything you know well you got an amazing I, look mate yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> explain my boy is the, the utmost confidence. I feel it, though. I feel it, though. That self-esteem through the roof. That's how you got to be out here. And you look to me, because the reason I walked up to you, you've just got, you've got this vibe of energy and life. I wanted to start my video off in a good way, so. Muchas gracias, senor. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Idol. That's it myself, old school. Do you live in Luton, my friend, do you? Um. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. Have a good time. Born and bred. Born and bred. And how do you feel about life in Luton these days? Can I say shit? You can say whatever you want, yeah. That's the whole reason for me making these videos. Right, I'll tell you what, there's too many foreigners coming in. You know these ones that come off the lorries? They're just abiding here. They think they're getting free money, right? That's wrong. It's changed. We've got such a mixture and a minority. I mean, no. It's just the Somalians, Romanians, Polish, there's God knows what else. Uh, it's changed. Changed a lot since you were a, yeah. a young man. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't even feel safe at night. I used to stay here to midnight. But yeah, yeah. I wouldn't stay here to midnight if you paid me because. Uh, you think it's quite edgy, quite dangerous now? Yeah. Yeah. So last year. Luton was voted 2023 the worst place to live in England. So that's why I came here because I, I, I can't just take that report on face value. I need to come and meet the people. Probably so, is. do you think that's correct? I think it was third last year or the year before. But yeah. Now it's probably because it's drugs. Yeah. yeah. You can go and get drugs anywhere in Luton, right? It's too many drug dealers. Like I say, Somalians now come in and uh, it's just getting a joke. Right? We've been taken over by it, basically, yeah. So what, one of um, Luton's most infamous sons is a gentleman named Tommy Robinson, um, who comes from Luton. I've done and, a uh, couple of marches on the EDF, yeah. ADL. Um, who comes from Luton. I've done and, a couple uh, of marches on the EDF, yeah. ADL. So how, how, how... You have? Well, have you? When did you do that hose? Because for over a decade plus is when they said there has been no such thing. How do you feel about um, Mr. Robinson coming from this area? Well, all that was about, to be honest, he was right. It was about, they're, they're building mosques everywhere. Any corner you can get is a mosque. And that's wrong in my eyes. Our own community centre up Farley Hill has been taken over. Prayer day is a day and they go in there. To do the prayers, there's fucking hundreds of them in a, in a, in a hall. Now, that should be for the community, kids. In my day, a community centre was for kids. Do you feel like the tradition... We got us one. Um, the thing about mosques being built on, on every, every, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoever has the money to do whatever they want, that's what's going to happen. This is looting, right? It's deprived. It's one of the worst. It's blah, blah, blah. So there's probably a lot of property that's open to do whatever you want. Or probably, or probably a lot of vacant lots. So if somebody comes along and purchases this lot, what do you think this... What do you... They ain't gonna sell it to them. Do what you want with it. Do what you want. You purchased it. You know what I'm saying? Additional cult. And the community center, I kind of agree low-key about these community centers, man. Because when I was coming up, the community center was strictly for the kids. Kids come in there, they can play ball, they can play volleyball, they can play ping pong. They can, they, can, they have somewhere to go that's a safe place. Like, like they, you've got somewhere to go. Nowadays, they, you, they, you pull out a dollar bill, man, you can rent out the community center to do whatever you want to do, man. And there's like, every day there's something and there's nothing for the kids no more. People are like of your generation has been eroded. That part I agree on. Yes, 100%. Because I'm born here, I don't know any better, but there's a lot of places better than Luton. You don't want to come to Luton for nothing, really, because you're not doing no business. A lot of pound shops, a lot of gambling shops on the high street. Yeah, there's loads of them, and that's making people even poorer because you never beat the bookies. I know that. You know, the house always wins, yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. A lot of chicken shops and uh, yeah, like oh, fast foody right, stuff. Man. I can see it all over. Everyone's there. fed up with chicken. No, chicken everywhere. Sick of fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to to last a lifetime. Would you chat to me for a second about what life's like in Luton? Mm. Shit. Yeah. Why Why do you say that? Well, right at the moment, it's uh, not. It hasn't been. Uh, very nice. Because you've been here since 77, you say? Yeah. So you must have seen some changes. Yes, lots. Yeah. It's all right during the day, it's at night when uh, all the pubs and clubs are kicking out, you get, you get the fights every night. Well, where should I start? I don't you even know, know where to start. Yeah. Michael, so, so, where should I start? I'll leave you with some questions. So first of all, are you born and bred in Luton? Or? Yes, I yeah. am. So you've been here all your life? Yes. Yeah, and you must have seen a lot of changes. Yes, yeah. the town's gone downhill. Downhill, yeah. So what's what's Luton like these days and why do you think it's gone downhill? It's gone downhill because, uh, how shall I reword it? Um, too many... Don't reword it, just say what's on your heart. Romanians. Uh, they go begging in the street, nicking from shops. Uh, there's a lot of thieves in the town. Yeah. Uh, it's very unsafe after a certain time at night. And it's not a knife crime in, in the Luton town. Yeah, a gentleman there was telling me there was a murder the other day in yeah, one of the estates. Yeah, yeah. Marsh Farm. You know what's crazy? As an American, like some, sometimes when I was watching a lot of these videos, like when people say like, oh, there's a lot of immigrants, there's a lot of immigrants, there's an immigrant problem. Like the first thing that comes to my mind is they're talking about people with skin tones like this you know what i'm saying and that's just an american thing like i shouldn't think like that because they're talking about i'm they're talking about from anywhere the general theme is from anywhere remain it don't matter you romanian uh if you're not from here period is what they mean that's what that's they that's how they comment they don't care what color skin it is it's, it's, if, it's if you're not from here yeah. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. young, young, 18 year old boy. Is that a regular thing now? Killed like? his family. Oh, like really? Yeah. Killed his family? Yeah, with a shotgun. Terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Terrible, yeah. That's so, when did you notice the town changing? It's been changed since this fucking thing came along. And oh, what was this? Oh, oh, Ardell Centre. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's changed since then because yeah. the shops used to all be out here. More of a traditional high street. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. It's since they built that, yeah. it's gone straight downhill. I saw a survey that said that. Last year, it was voted the worst place in England to live. So I had to come and meet the people and see what they had to say, the people that live here. <laughs> Do you think that's an accurate depiction in the survey? Or? Well, yes, if you don't know the town, you, you, you can get in very quick trouble very quickly. Yeah. And in certain areas, you don't go after a certain time at night. Yeah. As you get into trouble. You can hardly find an Englishman in this town now. Cause that's everywhere, though. You go anywhere with... with there's a possibility of trouble everywhere you go. Like, except for one of these neighborhoods that are police 24-7, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, aside from the top, top, top cities, like, where there's a crime rate, anywhere you, any place with a valuable crime rate, with a valid crime rate, if you go somewhere at the dark, it could happen to you. There's always a chance. So everyone's left. Yeah. <laughs> where, where have the people left? To? Where have they oh. emigrated to from Luton? A lot of them have gone to Milton Keynes yes. and other towns because of this town has gone right down the hill. So folks, this is Mr. T, the big T, only. small T. That's it. But the only T. I mean, that's it, the one and only. Yeah, yeah you know Luton a little bit, mate. You've been, been a times. working in Bedford, but you've come into Luton to work a few times. Exactly, yeah, What's yeah. Luton like in 2024? Shithole, mate. Yeah, been here for a, what of a, an hour or two, like I told you. Uh, seen some lads running out of there, doing a robbery, uh, robbed some tracksuits, which you wouldn't... Today? Just now? really think happening, but... And we're talking like 10, 11 in the morning, this happened. Yeah, yeah. like, what's the time now? Hold on a second. The time right... As soon as they open, that's, that's when you hit... Never mind. Right now it's 12 o'clock, probably yeah. about an hour ago, about 11 o'clock in the morning, rubbing tracksuits. Um, yeah, man, if you, if you got to rub clothes, there's not much um, happening here in terms of money wise, is there really? So, yeah. bit of a shit old man, I can't lie to you. Only reason I know about Luton is because I know Andrew Tate's from here. That's like the only, the only yeah. thing I know about Luton. Okay. Um, but yeah, man, it, it has another info. Yeah, that's how I know them. Andrew Tate and Tommy Robinson is from there, so I've heard a lot about Luton. <laughs> I didn't think Mr. it was that bad. Who's and that? that's Mr. Thomas Robinson. 
He's yeah. from here as Tommy Yeah. Oh, so well, he, he would do. have us believe that Luton's a very divided place with a lot of problems. Yeah, I um, agree with that. A lot 100%. of like, you know, cultural crossover problems, things like no, that. Definitely. What about your experiences of things like that? Oh, nice. It's really multicultural, man. Yeah. If you even just look it around the it. camera, like there's a lot of different types of people here, man. So someone like Toby Robinson having the views he has is kind of crazy and it comes from a place like here. But mm. yeah, man, now you know what, I'll be honest, it's like any other place in the UK you get in it, because like, you're gonna have some places, some good places. Reminds me of Birmingham, so I guess that's a yeah. positive and a negative at the same time. Luton was voted the worst place to live in England. I won't be surprised, you know. That's, that, a, pr that, that, that's a pretty harsh me. review. I mean, yeah, okay, I agree with you. It is harsh because you go to certain places that whole up north, fucking shit all, mate. Mm. I mean, you go to places even like said Birmingham and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely fucking shit all as well. But coming here for oh, the, the, like the last two hours that we have been here, I agree with that list as well because um. It's a bit of a shit on me, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's pretty down on its heels. Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can find some positivity in the town as I wander around. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, he said he only been there a couple of years, hours. Like, I don't... I don't feel like that's a valuable enough amount of time for you to be able to form an opinion about anywhere because there's little... You know... And I'm not talking about Window. I'm talking about this guy he's talking to. Big T, not a little T. Um... You know, you gotta be there for some, some. You have to have been there for some days to really get the nuances of a neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Get, to get the inner workings to see what the people really be on. So, yeah, hopefully, anyways, man. Yeah. If you, uh, someone from outside, come here and get a voice experience, so they go and then update the website and they say, uh, said that it's a survey and it's a very worst place. But I think so. Everyone have their own opinion, and in my opinion, it's a peaceful place and good to live so i think so every place have their bright side and dark side so it's really depend on the people how they'll maintain their own places and how uh, they gonna make it like look more beautiful and charming and how it gonna attract the uh, uh, like yeah that's a, it's a good philosophical point of view you've got exactly, yeah exactly. Where, where are you from originally i'm from pakistan and where, where have you come from in pakistan uh, i'm i came from lahore lahore yeah yeah big city uh, yeah it's a very big country city yeah. just like london you're somebody that's just arrived from Pakistan. Yeah. A lot of people in England have got a very bad opinion about Luton. They say it's one of the worst places in England. What's your impression comparing it to where you've just come from in Pakistan? Uh, well, as I'm from Pakistan, so in Luton there's a lot of Pakistanis, and like so, it'll be easy for me to adjust here, like with the uh, different communities, and I'll interact and I'll make reference. So that's why I have chosen Luton because I heard that it's like a mini Pakistan. Okay, so you, you chose to come over here to Luton yeah. because you know there's a big Pakistani yeah. community. Do you think it's as bad as so many English people say? And your first impressions? In different aspects, it's a very good place to live. Like in case of if uh, cost of living, in case of uh, your community, in case of uh, like... Yeah, I mean, he's gonna have a different outlook than the locals because the locals feeling like they're losing their identity. You know what I'm saying? He just said it though, he came here because a lot of his culture, a lot of his folks is here. So, you know, it's a different perspective. Peaceful area, as uh, there's a no fast life, and everything is very simple, and, and mostly people are very simple. It's lunchtime. Yeah. I've worked up an appetite, my friend. Sure. We've got much left? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. What do you recommend? Oh, still. I love Oxtail. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Alright. I love Oxtail, man. This one go. The window then got turned out from that last video that we watched. Bro had that good Jamaican food. Now he love it. See? Open your mind and close it back, you know? Okay. <laughs> when my cartel said the comment is coming. Yeah. The Oxtail is coming. And what do you serve it with? You serve it with rice and. The rice and peas. Yeah, steamed veg. Nice, yeah. I, lo yeah. I love the Jamaican oh, steamed veg, yeah. 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 It's a healthy little serving. Is it mostly bone though? No, I see some meat on it. You go, my friend. Taste Thank it. you. Rip. Wonderful. Rip. Thank you very much. Welcome. How much we're looking? Twelve. Twelve. Do you eat dark style? It's not bad, man. Twelve dollars. You know how much this costs in America? In Florida, I gotta play the oxtails outside a gun shop, <laughs> which is crazy. It was $24, and it was smaller than this, it almost seems. The best thing for you. Best one. Now, I've been told by somebody else that I should be picking this up with my fingers. That's the proper yeah, way yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. Man. 
I feel like you listened to me. Did you? Did I? I told you that. Next time you eat this, don't pick, eat no fork, Wendell. And Wendell, you doing right by us, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> you got to grab it like a fidget spinner. Remember the fidget spinners? Eat it like an apple. A tender. Burst yes. of the flavor. Oh, that steamed veg is amazing. Yeah, the other one. Steam veg, it's different to the one I had in Brixton Brew. The best. Hey, sir, yeah. It's like a about. steam veg salad. The best Jamaican. Yeah. Food. Tell the camera. Yeah, man, the best Jamaican food, man. Shellings, man. Right on the curved corner. It's right amazing, there, so, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the oxtail is so tender. Yeah, man. So yeah. flavorful, juicy. Yeah, man. And now I'm eating it with the fingers. I was told to eat it with the fingers in the last video. The best. <laughs> the West. That's why they leave the bones, yeah, to grab it. That's good oxtail. So when I ate the Jamaican food in Brixton, I ate it all with a fork and I was told in the comments, Wendell, you need to grab the bones yeah. and eat it with the fingers with the bones. Yeah. That's why the bones are there, kind of. Yeah, man. Why anybody would come down this high street and eat in McDonald's or these horrible fast food places like Greg's when you can come here and eat this amazing fresh Jamaican food yeah. from the cur is it a curbside kitchen? Curbside, curbside kitchen. kitchen. I said it in my video in Brixton, I'll say it again. I need to get myself to Jamaica. That was amazing. Oh. I just said, when anyone visits Luton, why would they go to McDonald's or Greg's? When they come here. It's all about the taste of the food and the flavor, you know? Make the customers come back, you know? Yep. They react to people and you know, everything nice, man. Proper setting, you know, as you see, everything clean. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, can see that, yeah, spotlessly really clean. Yeah. Yeah. You're here six days a week. Yes. Just not Sunday, curbside kitchen. Opposite Primark, that's easy to find. Yes. Yeah, just by the town hall. Friendly, Thank warm welcome, much. wonderful people. Can't beat it. How's Luton in 2024 in general as a town? Luton as a town in general, you want me now. You know, like the black people fun, them cut it down, you know? Okay. The black people fun, them have more casinos, more gambling. Mm -hmm. oh. um, so there ain't no club life, there ain't no urban life here no more. That's the first thing they do when it's a cr heavy crime rate area. They cut all the stuff that attracts. At least that's how they do it in America. Like if there's a heavy crime rate at a park, or if there's a lot of crime at a park, what's the first thing they cut off? What's the first thing they take away in America? They cut. They take the basketball rims off the backboard. How do you think about that? They associate basketball with crime in America. <laughs> like it's wild, bro. I, <laughs> You go to a park, ain't no rooms, you know this a bad area. <laughs> All right, yeah. And oars. Really? Loan, yeah. Yeah. The concert, the concert, not doing anything. 14 gambling casino. Yeah. 14, 14 casino. Do you possible. think that's because it's more profitable for the council? Though? For the, I must. Yeah, it must be, yeah. But it's not profit, profitable for the youths. No, it's not, no. No. Yeah, so you need cultural events for the youths art, to yeah. keep them out of trouble. Yeah, keep them out of trouble. Yeah. If you go to them and say, want what my Marcus Garvey Center, Wally Pa talking, Wally Pa yap yapping. <laughs> yeah. But if you want what my casino, it go home quicker in low. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, they're not even them. them That's a shame, time. mate. Yeah. So yeah. you're saying that maybe like 10, 20 years ago, like, it was there was a lot more much vibrant better, community? Vibrant, much better. Yeah. You have club. You have a club up here right now. We the dollar talks though, man, but that's how you kill a town, man. Let the dollar control it. Let put somebody in office or put somebody that controls it and let the dollar control everything you do. The town is going to go down unless you put in a crazy amount of dollars. But if you reaching out for pennies, you're going to take everything and all, all, all money ain't good money, man. So, you know, some stuff you just got to leave. Close. Yeah. Put me, put me in office. I was thinking about that yesterday, man. People be coming at me with ideas, and I'd be like, well, how does that benefit anybody but this, this group of people? Okay, if we put this up, we gotta put something up for the for the for the ladder. For the for the for the opposite end. You know what I'm saying? Like make it even. Make it make sense. Yeah. Most of these places was club and thing like that and yeah. We couldn't do with things, but the council just cut down everything. We don't know. Yeah. But the but the, the Asian community yeah. have everything. Okay. Everything. So, so there's we, lots lots of things for the Asian community. The Asian but community. you feel the Jamaican community is not there. Them have them have every all of the descent. We can't keep none. Nothing. 
Nothing we can't keep. No. Nothing. We don't have nowhere. So it's a very multicultural place, but it doesn't seem like the Jamaican culture yeah. is having as much room to breathe as other cultures. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, them don't them them Yeah. Them don't them don't them don't deal with us fear. Yeah, and we do the most. But them don't deal with us fear. The most impressive building in Luton is the town hall behind me. Now the town hall was actually knocked down in 1919 by riots by local people who were unhappy with unemployment and social conditions at the time. It was rebuilt in 1936 into the impressive spectacle that it is today. Luton Town Football Club. Didn't we see an episode of campaign will take it away on there? So you may wonder why this alleyway is significant on my visit to Luton. Well, when I was a kid, I used to go home and away with my dad to all the Wolves matches, Wolverhampton Wanderers, and we used to be in like the second tier of English football back then. And we used to regularly play Luton. And I remember coming here to Kenilworth Road and seeing the football matches in the 90s here, watching Wolves play Luton. And it was one of the most amazing, quirky, small, traditional grounds. And these days, football clubs have built these mega stadiums in industrial estates just out. Luton, I mean, not Luton. Wendell, you're a Wolves fan? How you feel about their jerseys? I don't like them. <laughs> oh my God. Let's not even talk about their record, but their jerseys, I don't like them. I'm just a firm believer, like, if you look good, you're going to play good. And, I, like, there's not a lot of belief in them jerseys that they be wearing, man. And that's probably why they 0-4. Or what are they? They lost. They got a draw. 0-1 and 0. Uh, 0 1 and 3 however you say it outside of town centers they don't look like this anymore this is the face of 70s 80s 90s football in this country last season Luton were actually in the Premier League and I was rooting for them because they're such a small club by Premier League standards and how they managed to get up to that level I was really rooting for them they hear this year too I don't know about next year but they hear this year hoping that they stayed in the Premier League but unfortunately they got relegated so they're back in the Championship it's such a shame because wait what Wolves he talking about is he talking about the same Wolves that played Brighton last week or are we talking about a different Wolves for a town like Luton that has some issues and has a bad reputation in some ways like we've spoken about that would have been such a boost for the morale of the town having their little football club in the Premier League. Hopefully they get promoted this season and go back up. Big shout out to my man Aaron who I bumped into, watches the channel, doesn't want to be on camera but he's walked me to Kenilworth Road so I can have this nostalgic visit. Folks, there's a in the days of... <laughs> Are there's a Domino's and... Wait, Domino's? Oh, there's a... What is this? This is a stand? So you can't go in, but you can stand out and order it. That's kind of raw, I ain't gonna lie. This is in the middle of the neighborhood. That's multi-million pound, multi-billion pound Premier League football. Are there many stadiums like this anymore in housing estates? This is how it used to be. The Domino's Oak stand of Luton Football Club, just here in this completely non-plus housing estate. It's just, it's part of the street. I kind of like Another that. entrance here. And the oh, stadium's an just behind. This is how football used to be. It brings back so many okay, that's just an nostalgic memories for me. You know, it's a proper old fashioned ground, you know, yeah. like in the terraced houses. Yeah. There's a new ground there. Are oh, they building a new ground? There. Oh, how do you feel about that? Brilliant. Really? Yeah. I love Brilliant. that old ground now. Yeah, it's an old one, it's that ground. I, yeah, it's a shame. Because all these clubs now, they build these like beautiful new bowls in like um, yeah, yeah. retail parks and yeah. stuff. I think it takes a soul. It's and, yeah. Yeah, Ken Kenilworth is, you know, it's one of the beautiful old grounds in a way. And Intimidating. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, for sure, yeah. Can we so what's this pub like? It's a Luton Town pub. Yeah, it is. The best pub in Luton. Yeah. And looks, the only Luton Town pub. It's wonderfully done out, yeah. And rammed on match days. Oh, God, yes. You get plenty in on the other days as well? Yes, we do. We have our regulars. We're very lucky. One of the lucky ones, to be fair. Yeah. Football days, absolutely <laughs> rammed. But 
Never any trouble. No. Always pleasant. Yeah. All our regulars are pleasant. What's the price of a pint? Oh. Everyone wants to know. What's the price of a pint? £4.80 for a pint. £4.30. Yeah, for and anything? The strug stronger ones are at 4 dollars yeah. The normal ones are 4 dollars At the minute, we've got strong both for £3. Can't beat that. <laughs> so, folks, if you come to Luton, come down to the Wheelwright Arms, the Luton pub. On match days, it'll be rammed. And other yes. days, they'll welcome you with open arms. Oh, oh. £4.80. That's not bad. Probably got a nice little Stella in there. Always. Yeah. Now Luton certainly has some ugly brutalist buildings, they're dotted all around the town but it also has some beautiful older buildings like here on Cheapside and they're a window into a once illustrious industrial past when hat making and the automotive industry brought so much employment and opportunity to this town. The Vauxhall Motors plant opened in 1907 and closed in 2002 and when it closed it took so much opportunity and employment with it and we all know what comes with unemployment, folks? What follows? And that's deprivation. There does seem to be a high number of homeless people here in Luton. In the town centre, many homeless people hanging around. And it's always upsetting to see someone's entire life bundled up in a duvet in the abandoned doorway of a disused pub. Nice. How long have you been skating? 15. 15 years, yeah. yeah. When when I was like 15, I used to skate. Yeah, but I, I was shit, but yeah. Yeah, bro. yeah, man. Yeah, this used to be a spot when we were teenagers and that. I used to be like, skate is there, skate yeah, yeah. is there, skate is there. But now, two. You're, you're the only two remaining skaters uh, in the scene? Basically, yeah. I can vouch how difficult skating is. I did it for a couple of years when I was a teenager yeah. and I was awful at it. People think it looks easy. Uh, it is the not. hardest thing it's in not. the world. It's one of the hardest no, things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Uh, skating is very difficult. I've tried even. This is hard. Luton, it's home, innit? It's got a bit of a bad rep. I, I, I saw... It's gotta be athletic. Hand-eye or... Eye, hand eye or Hand-eye coordination got to be um, off the show. A survey last yeah. year that said it was the worst place in England to live. I've been worse. I've been worse on I've my travels. I've made videos all around. I've been worse places than Luton. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're, they're, I don't know what, they're, what perspective they're thinking for. Maybe from a job point of view, yeah, it's, it's hard to get jobs here. I've come from Oxford where you can get a job by just breathing. But then coming back here, I spent one month grafting to get a job. And really? I'm trying to land one. And I'm not too sure what that's about. Like, a couple of my brothers, they've been trying to get jobs for time and nothing. Really? Yeah. I've been applying for the most random things, bro. You know, thinking back to the comment that I mentioned at the start, where somebody said that Luton makes Slough seem like Monaco. I don't think they compared Luton and Slough by mistake because wandering around as I have for a few hours now, they're very similar towns, Luton is bigger, but the town centre, the high street and how it's laid out, it really reminds me of Slough and the vibe's similar too, but I will say that Luton does seem to have more going for it. The people have been more happy to talk to me and there's definitely more life and more vibrancy in the town centre. I didn't catch it on film, but that's the second time today I've come across somebody shoplifting in Luton. Maybe that's a big problem. Do people always shoplift in Luton, mate? Yeah. I'm not filming you, I'm filming me. Yeah. Do people always shoplift in Luton? Bro, well, I sit here like most days. I, I, so I've, I've been here for a few hours and I've seen it twice already. Somebody running out of a shop there yeah, and coming in. Don't. They get yeah. hit every day. Shoes on gets hit every day. Every day. Why shoes on? Easy, it's right by the door that he Yeah, bang, right yeah. By the bing, right by the door, bang, straight out. Shocking. Also, I must add that the mall in Luton is probably the biggest retail offering. And it's absolutely buzzing. Full of Yeah. See this is what I'm saying. Like there's not even a boarded up shop fronts in the mall. Like the mall look like it's popping like people and all the shops bad. are really busy so it's not just about the high street here in Luton it's also the mall on top of the quite prosperous mall which is clearly the most buzzing retail offering here in Luton you've also got this really cool little market I've just happened across lots of little independent traders it's getting towards the end of the day now so a few of them are shuttered up Maybe some of them aren't trading, but it's certainly doing a lot better than most markets you go around in the UK. I'm from I'm from the Midlands originally. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What I've been everywhere. You, what yeah. Do you think of your tour around right here so far? Then you know a, a very mixed bag. But the reason I came yeah. was I read an article like uh, from last year that said that Luton was the worst town in England. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And to be honest, yeah. I've come around. I spoke to everyone 
and it's I mean there are better places but it's definitely not the worst no, not the it's worst. quite buzzing it's not the worst. this little market's amazing yeah I think Peter Bar was up there before and then it went to do them but yeah okay. that's interesting yeah it? show me what you got in here mate yeah so we've got this antiques. is your store yeah yeah we've got antiques yeah we've got a lot of crystals yeah yeah what started your passion for all this I like uh, creativity and unique things yeah mate old wood carving yeah a lot of knowledgeable books that I yeah. with. Stuff about like cancer, yeah. herbs. Like an organic way of, yeah, of curing stuff, yeah, your body and keeping like your body hormones, good. How your hormones work. Yeah, a lot oh, of mate, stuff. Yeah. It's an interesting business that I'm running right now. Helping Absolutely, a lot mate, of yeah. people, see? Yeah, especially good these days. Yeah, the last four or five good. years, yeah. Organic toilet trees. Okay. They're quite low at the moment, but yeah, they're all organic, so it's good. Let's what? show you, let's show let, let's let's see something now, yeah? Yeah. Pick a crystal, yeah. I'm drawn by the marks on that. Have a look, Jasper. Look, look this is how it looks tumble. See how it looks tumble? Uh -huh. Where's that one? Campbell or Jasper? Yeah, that's how it looks tumble. Yeah. Let me show you. And then you can see if you resonate. What do you like about it? Just the patterns. I like eyes. So like I've got where's my tattoos? Like I'm drawn to eyes. Um yeah. So I was I was drawn to almost like peacock like, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, okay. So obviously with this crystal is to do more tranquility and peace. Yep. Helping ground and balance yourself. And then basically when it comes to these crystals, what they say is the one that catches your eye is in resonance with your frequency. That's why it's caught your eye. Yeah. So they're interesting. Well, I'll make you read on it and then you can see more yeah. if you resonate with it. But they say fertility. Anytime crystals oh. catch your eye, that's matching your frequency and that's why. A gift to life. A connection to all things, all living things of the present, past and future, rich in orbs and swirls of green and black. Commonly used in aid of meditation. What do you think? What do you think? I think yeah, like if you peel back my layers, like I'm a man of peace and I like to meditate on simple things, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. yeah. That's my gift yeah. to you, innit? You sure, mate? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, oh, that's, that's really kind of you, mate. What's your name, buddy? Aaron. Sorry? Aaron. Aaron, yeah, my name's nice Wendell. To meet you. Nice to meet you, mate, yeah. Well, welcome to Luton, mate. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? I need some shampoo you know, because you know. my Airbnb, not shampoo, I need, um, Body lotion, you know, uh, oh. shower gel. A uh, shower gel, so these yeah. are the two shower gels that I've got left at yeah. the moment. And what's the... And they're uh, fair prices, they're all under £10. They're yeah. organic. So what's what's the different this, this benefits one, for me? Nah, they're, well, they're all... This one's certified organic. Yeah. This is a hemp. This one's a good one as well. So it's whatever you like. If you like coconut smell, the other one's more of a hempy smell. Okay. This yeah. one have you smelling sweet. <laughs> sweet? Yeah, you're smelling sweet, right? With a hemp one? <laughs> With the coconut one, this is the interesting. Yeah. Oh, so the coconut one's gonna. I, f I think I'll go with the hemp. I'm more of a hemp man than a coconut man. Read between the lines. Yeah, you've got a nice <laughs> crystal there. Here you go. I don't touch them once people pick them, so. Oh, uh, yeah, so I've got to put it in the it back. That's interesting, though. So isn't if it? you touch it, your vibes will go on it. Yeah, and, uh, don't let people touch your crystals. Yeah. That, that could be taken a number of ways, couldn't it? Don't let people <laughs> touch your crystals. Yeah. That's the motto of the day, mate. Yeah. Now nah, I'm all good, mate, yeah. Cool. Are you born in Bredloo tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, what do you think about this like reputation? It's got to have been like, the it's worst place to live in England. It's everywhere. That's how it goes everywhere. You've got good and bad, so yeah. Depends who you mix with. and Yeah, it just depends what you're involved in. I agree, mate. If you're living a peaceful life, you're going to live peaceful. If you're living... You're in a mix up, chaos. you're gonna find it different. You get but chaos. overall, it's alright, it's not bad like that. You don't feel intimidated walking around this. I go all, ar all around the country walking around with a camera, yeah. and you can generally judge and the vibe of the place by yeah. how well, open people are to a camera. Because it's it's a weird thing, you know, if somebody walks up to you, shoves a camera in your face, mm. it brings out different parts of your personality. Yeah, of course, of course. And if people are relaxed and, you know, like they're just, you know, quite open, then they'll generally talk yeah, to you, yeah, you know. Of course. And Luton's been quite open, so. Yeah. I see people ballied off like that, like, hey, get that camera Get away, away from me, get away from me. So you know it's not too bad, innit? It's yeah. all right. Oh, Aaron, mate, so lovely to meet you. You've got good a wonderful you, uh, man. wonderful Enjoy energy, mate. And, uh, Check out Riley's as well, they're good. See, if you didn't venture through the mall and into the market here, you wouldn't find all these exotic delights. Ooh, Jamaican patties, African pancakes, hot patties there too. 
What an absolute little treasure cove. This is hidden cool, man. Away from this is cool for people like to entrepreneur, open up their own business and things of that. From like the mainstream this. high street of Luton. High street. Really Honestly, to get how they are these days. They have a death of community. We need to get our markets back. We need to get our markets back buzzing. People need to shop locally in their traditional markets. There you go, all yeah. traders. Trade in Luton Indoor Market per day. from only Not 18 bad. pounds per day. Low cost, low risk, and flexible terms, and happy vendors. Much better for the community. Eight. So in conclusion, what- 18 a day is insane. Like, I ain't never seen it. Do I think about Luton, folks? Is it the worst place in England, like last year's poll says? Well, technically, that poll called it the worst place to live, and I don't live here, so I can't make that call. But to visit, I think my answer is, I've been to a lot of better places, for sure, but I've also been to some worse places and you might need to look back through my videos and try and work out which ones I'm talking about but the town centre it has a fair bit going on the people have been quite friendly quite willing to talk to me and although it does have its issues I don't think it's the worst place in England thanks for joining me folks until ne next time Shout yeah I agree I don't think it's that bad but I also don't live there and I don't have to deal with the everyday I know it's different when you live somewhere than when you visit in somewhere. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. Once again, Window, it's been great.